All right, we are back with another episode of Eagle Talk today. Today we have two special guests. We have Marin Rutman. Marin Rutman, and I'm Mr. Soselski. It's <laughs> Paige, and I'm Skyler. <laughs> forgot about us. Yeah. As far as I know, I feel like Mr. Soselski is going to run us today. So let's talk. So before we started, we had a funny conversation with what well, you guys may not have been paying attention with Miss St. Clair, you know, about how she got in a little bit of hot water years ago. Uh, over technology. So think about it over you since you guys have been in school, how much technology has changed. How do you guys use technology nowadays? Like I, I, I get the, the, the Facebooks and all that to find out information. But is, I mean, is that how you guys communicate now? Because back in the day, when, when, when I was your age, we'd pick up the phone still, you know, we still mm-hmm. literally had, yeah. that. you know, cell phones were just coming into existence a little bit. How are you guys using it nowadays? You know, what do you do with it besides just talk with your buddies? Everything. TikTok. TikTok. Waste time. Learn how to dance. I deleted TikTok. TikTok. You did? Good for you. (laughs) Instagram Reels. That's a a big step. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Instagram Reels are pretty funny. Marin tries to tag me in TikTok videos (laughs) still. I did yesterday. And last week. Yeah. Now, what about that chat? What is it? Pat? Chat Chat GPT. GPT. Snapchat? GPT. Yeah. Have you guys tried that yet? What is that? It's It's an AI thing that you can give a prompt, and it will write an entire... Paper for you. Oh that's yeah, why my we're mom hand, told me to download that's why that we're hand for writing, college. <laughs> that's why we're handwriting our drafts of our, pa- our <laughs> modern technology paper. Oh what? And Vandy, yeah, we're handwriting the drafts, like our rough draft, we're handwriting it because he doesn't want us to use ChatGPT. Oh, yeah, I because don't know. it's crazy. It's like it. People are using it for college and getting a hundred percent on the paper. Yeah, and it's untraceable. Like it's different every single time. You can give it the same prompt ten times in a row, and it'd be a different paper every single time. Yeah, it's kind of like the new wave of technology it's with crazy. AI stuff. What's the app called again? Chat GPT. I don't think it's an app though. I don't think, I think it's, it's, it's a web-based. website. But yeah. so for yeah. everyone listening. Well, I figured you guys knew about all that stuff. Yeah. No, but no, no, no. <laughs> no, they've had quite a few articles, been on the news for quite a while yeah. now, as far as what it can and can't do. And I think even for schools, because there was a lot of pushback there, I think even for schools, they've created that, that same organization. Uh, what's Open Chat, I think is the name of the company, or Open something. Um, but they, they've kind of created uh, almost, almost like a, uh, uh, a, a cheat catcher. Yeah. Using the same AI technology that yep. created the, uh, you know, whatever prompt you gave it. Yeah, and we've always had turn it in. Yeah. So turn wow. something into that, and it'll tell you how what percent of your paper is plagiarized. But even on that, like the Chat GPT can't be found. But they are using AI to find if you're using an AI to write the paper. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. Yeah. yeah, I read something about that the other day. I don't know what it's crazy company's how doing some that, of that, but changes. it's wild. People driving cars without driving cars. And, yep. You know, now they got this AI technology that just kind of does what you want it to do. They got like lawnmowers, right? You don't even need to. Yeah. You just yeah. Make yeah. A it's, it's like a rumba for it's a lawn. Really just rumba. hit the button and it goes. Yeah. yeah. And so they got them. Uh, they're going to have those pets now. They won't have real pets anymore. They'll have uh, sad. computerized yeah, pets. Yeah, that is sad. You know. Um, so that'll be interesting. So you guys have pets? Yes. Yeah. What do you guys got? Dogs, cats, fish, birds. Dogs. Go ahead, Skyler. I just got a new puppy. You did. I did. What'd you get? I got a Bernice Mountain dog. Ooh, those get pretty large. <laughs> yeah, her dad was 130 pounds and her mom was 110. So. How old is it? Just a puppy right now? Like 10 weeks. Oh wow. So it's just going crazy. What's its name? <laughs> I don't know yet. Still, uh, Still uh, so having those family it? conversations and. <laughs> Well, I call it dummy, <laughs> idiot, puppy. <laughs> I'm biased to my dog. I have another dog. That's oh, okay. A, it's the same breed, but mixed with a poodle. It's okay. A Ber- Bernadoodle. Bernadoodle. <laughs> Bernadoodle. <laughs> Go ahead, Paige. What are your dogs? I, well, I have two mini golden doodles. Okay. And they're crazy. Um, their name's Macy and Olive. What color are they? The golden color? Or are they... No, um, one of them has more gold, like, on her ears and, like, mouth a little bit, but they're more white. Okay. Um, I also have, well, I have one dog now named Barkley, and then I had another dog named Jack, but he passed away last month. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that stinks when stuff yeah. like that happens, but it does happen, let's yeah. be honest, you know. 
And so no, we just have a uh, we have a chicken, and uh, yeah, we got a chicken. That's it. They all the rest. No, we got a, we got, got a chicken. we got a French bulldog too. Oh no, um, didn't Mitchell get you guys chicken? Yeah, yeah. Mitchie. So you have one out of the like twelve. No, no, he only they only got us four a few years ago. Oh. Mitchell did, but um, got twelve. Yeah, and then it uh, we had five. Ended up getting a couple more. Oh. Mr. Fox mm-hmm. paid us a visit uh, last summer. <gasps> yep, and so we have I one left. That. We'll get more here once uh, you know spring <laughs> breaks roll around the corner. We'll get back. We'll get another one. They're fun to have. That's so yeah. sad. They're fun to have. What are you doing for spring break? We're going to Anna Marie Island. This will be our, I think, our third time heading down there. Third or fourth time. So we have a fun time down there. They got this. Uh, Last. Yeah, they got a restaurant down there. Donut. Uh, donut experience, experience experiment, experiment. make your own little donuts. And, you know, the beaches are right there and we go fishing and see the dolphins. And um, yeah, we have a good time down there. We yeah. really do. We really It's fun to get away. How about you guys? You go, going anywhere? Where are you guys going on spring break? Where are we going, Paige? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to Englewood with uh, one of my other friends. I'm also going to Anna Maria Island. I'm going to Cabo. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> That'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Never been there. Yeah, have I. Oh, this will be your first timer. Mm-hmm. That'd be interesting. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Stay safe. Do my best. Yeah. I don't have a good track record in Mexico. Got stitches. Oh, did you? <laughs> Hell yeah. Would you fall? No, I got hit by a wave. <laughs> <laughs> I was seven. Okay, this is not... Going. I got 28 <laughs> stitches. I still got the scar. 28? Oh yeah, 16 you hit, inside. Did you hit like coral on the bottom? 16 no, inside? No, so 16 inside. What? 12 to close up the wound. So. What? By a wave? There was a wave <laughs> and it hit me. Like it was a big wave that I didn't see and I was on a boogie board. And it smoked me. And I went flying and hit a rock with a rebar wire sticking out of it. And, and it, it just it impaled me. Oh. Know. I was seven. I didn't feel it. I got out of the water. I was like, "You're just leaking." I was like, blood. "Yeah, something happened." Like, I, oh my gosh, okay. My uh, hip hurts. And, uh, got out of the water, and uh, I could see people's faces, and they were all like freaking out. And I was like, "What's going on?" I looked down and you see <laughs> hole inside of me. I'm like, "Oh, oh my uh, gosh." So, on another note, <clears throat> I'm all over the map this morning. Uh, hey, so our uh, one of our classrooms, they go around. They did. They, they do the food. Yeah, the, the, Linden, the Linden Grind. Yeah. Linden Grind. Is that today? Tell me about that. What's that? Yes, it is today. I, they changed the uh, days up on me. I thought it was Tuesday, Thursdays, and no. they become, they're coming on like Mondays and yeah, Wednesdays. Yeah, they do change it. I think they've changed it up, but I'm pretty sure it's today. Um, Fifth hour. Missy Yankley's hour, or Class. group of clit, yeah, kids, they go around selling like pop, candy, Hot chips. chocolate, right? Isn't coffee, there coffee, tea. tea. Yeah. Like, Literally anything, just a little snack, and it's like a dollar, like fifty cents, like any little price like that. A little moving concession stand. Yeah, yeah. and they just go yeah. class to class. Mm-hmm. I think on the, those two days that they come, they like hit like one side of the hall, like one side of the school, yeah. and then the next. Do the next. Yeah, then like today no, they'll hit the next side. That's pretty cool how they do that. The kids go around, yeah. gets them the opportunity to get involved. And- mm-hmm. You know, work with the money and selling and talking to yeah. people on the social part. That, that was pretty neat. I think I'm like a, a dollar in a hole. I owe them a buck. I got a Mountain Dewy last time <laughs> around, and I didn't have any money on me. And they're like, pay us later. I'm like, sure. I haven't done that yet. Probably going to send people after me. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so, what other <laughs> topics? I just had some quick hitters <laughs> like that. Nothing serious. Yeah. Just talk a little bit. So I got to sooner or later get back. I got to get ready in case of snow day. I got to, oh, Chris Duncan. He's been my go-to on whether we're having <laughs> snow days or not. Uh, last snow day, I had to call him. Find out if, you know, if it was bad enough to have a snow day. Yeah. And so uh-huh. I got to get him Wait, on like line. Like Chris? Yeah. yeah. Yep. That's so cool. I wonder if Mr. Schneider's wearing his belt. He has a snow day belt. Oh, does he? He does. And he says it's never been wrong. Oh, we'll have to... Uh, Stop down there on the way back and just to double check things. Miss we'll Elmer's see. also never been wrong. She has like a streak going. Come on. Yeah. No, yeah, that one's actually true, I think. It's true. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. How many do we have left? One. One. Well, until... yeah, I mean, the, the state gives you six. 
Uh, one of those non-school days. days doesn't matter if it's for snow yeah. you know electrical issues mm-hmm. or things like that storms come in uh, mother nature happens um, but you have the ability to uh, apply for an additional three yeah. yeah yeah it's not easy to get the additional three you know some schools may get it this year with the big power outages that they had you know down south of us with the last storm um, you know because there's really nothing you can do even yeah. with the, you know snowstorms you can get it cleaned up and get back to school mm-hmm so it'll be interesting to see what happens. So we do have one of those six remaining. We do. We do. We do. Yeah, after that. So I'd really hate for uh, as seniors to have like a squirrel get into the electrical lines like on May 20th. So that means you'd have to make up a day. Really? Oh. On May 20th, our last day is May 19th. So oh, we, okay. I May 19th. That was the day off. off. <laughs> I think we'd be off the hook. I thought May 20th was your last day. <laughs> Wait, but we don't so have some don't have exams. Yeah, if some people or don't have exams, then we get out the like thirteen. Still have day of instruction. We still have to what? come back. We still have to go for that. Yeah. Or Say what psych. if we don't have a? No, I'm not. <laughs> what? Say you have. Like, it's all recorded now. You'll have it. You miss that day. Exam- you'll have to mm. come back and take them. Check. Also, I have to hey, take exams if you if you miss the oh. amount of days. Talk to me about exam exemptions. That was one thing out of my list I wanted to bring it's up. Amazing. Oh, what's yeah, what's your opinion? It. We've only had it for about a year and a half now. I mean, we, we I think Mr. Dredsky and Mr. Gates. Yeah, we've had it. All the seniors have had it. Yeah. yeah. But I think Mr. Dre- Gates and Mr. Dredsky tried putting it in for some really good reasons just before COVID. You know, and then yeah, COVID I hit mean, and kind of wiped out some ideas for it's a couple ins- years. It's an incentive to try. And then actually come For to school. Sure, yeah. What are you hearing about it? I mean, what are, what are, what are the, your, your colleague, your, your Great. student body? I like awesome. it. I think it's tough when you actually are sick. And, like, let's say I just have a cold. I need a doctor's note. Sure. But, like, I just have a cold. So they're like, okay, at the doctor's. But, like, you have to get a note. Right. I think it's, like, yeah, it keeps people coming to school. Like, that's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Um, And, like, good grades, like. People probably try a lot harder this year. I don't know. That's good. Or like with yeah. exam exemptions and stuff. Because I know some people or some teachers were like really lenient about like when it was getting down to the end of the semester. Some people didn't have like some stuff turned in, so they were like, "They'll help you just out." Turn it yeah, in, like giving you extra. They'll credit just give you pushing yeah, you, pushing you pushing to get the work you, done. Yeah, especially seniors, I'd say, and juniors. Yeah. But oh, good. No, I've, yeah. I've I've heard through uh, you know uh, through the grapevine I've heard you know even discipline wise some kids are like oh, oh you know, yeah I better not yeah better not do oh, this yeah, absolutely for sure because if you get one write up you have to take three notes mm-hmm. I mean not that I think in school I mean, suspension no but suspension. I mean it's just things that we you know even as teachers and uh-huh. uh, you know the principals and stuff that we hear you know whether it's working or not you know we've mm-hmm. got some Mr Gates has some data that he pulls on it as far as disciplines and attendance and attendance rates and grades and things like that. Last year we mm-hmm. saw an increase, meaning a good. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, for like sure. like you guys mentioned, kids coming to school, discipline was down, yeah. grades were up. Yeah. Uh, but you guys have kind of really gone a full year with it. Mm-hmm. You know, more so than anybody as far as that nine twelve type exam exemption that we've had in place. I've yeah. only taken one exam or one semester of exams in all four years of high school. Yeah. Same. Now Same. some of the some of the downsides of the exam exemption is, uh, and you just mentioned it, Skylar, like. Maybe next year, you know, the next level of education, whatever yeah. that may be for That's you. What I'm you know, about. and and I I've been out of the system a little bit as far as the higher ed. I don't. I mean, are they even giving exams anymore? Are they doing more project based? Are they doing more uh, real world in, co- in college? Yeah, yeah, college there's midterms. There's, yeah, they're still yeah. doing exams. Okay. Yeah, they are. I take some classes at Ma, and we still do mm-hmm. midterms and final exams. Okay, everything. Okay, so the first first semester of those might be a little. Shocking, like new. But mm-hmm. college overall is but so different, so you're already going to be taking like a ton of notes. Like, is that what you? That's what I do so at far? least. Yeah, it's definitely note taking is a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to let me. You'll have to talk to Mr. Dretzky and Mr. Gates about that exam exemption. Let them know. I think it's great. It's just uh, mm-hmm. again. That's a good idea. You know, they put it in place just before COVID for that reason. Yeah. You know to try to help the discipline and help the attendance, you know, get students more engaged in the, in the academic side, you know, really, you know, keep them focused and, and, uh, you know, on task with what they were doing in the classrooms. And so, um, like I said, we're really only a true year, maybe year and a half in, into the process. So they're really starting to, to, to get the data to say if it is working or not. So it's mm-hmm. good to hear some of that stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's good to hear some of that stuff. Cool. Yeah. 
What else? You guys got to get going to second hour here pretty soon. I know. Probably. How much? Uh, currently, eight minutes until the bell rings. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, it was fun talking. No, thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Bringing in the topic. No, sometimes uh, yeah. just to fly by the seat of our pants. Yeah. <laughs> no, you this know. was a good Absolutely. one. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Maybe well, you should do that more often. Hey, whenever you guys need something, let me know. Got a awesome. good topic, throw at us, district wide, whatever we got, we'll we'll knock it out. So I appreciate you guys doing this. Of this course. is pretty cool. Yeah. And so thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. No problem. You guys have a great day. And as always, go Eagles.